Hey, good morning, Greg Silva here. Um, last week I put out a video and it was all about sizzle time. Sizzle time is a time before class where your students are just jamming out some martial arts. You got some music going, the instructors are uh, coaching them on, the instructors are participating. It's just a great time to get everyone at a high level of enthusiasm before they even bow into class. Now I did that video. Um, my picture of sizzle time was a little bit different than some of you guys who sent me videos. One thing I didn't notice is instructor participation. You had the music going on well, one thing. Uh, most of you had it like at level three. Crank that music up to like level seven or eight. I mean, you want the emotion of the music really driving your students. Next, it's all about students having fun, but it's really about instructors building rapport and relationships with the students. So if your instructors are out there and the kids are hitting bags or maybe they're jumping over uh, pads and you're coaxing them on and you're saying, man, great job, you're looking awesome today, building that relationship. And if you have a highly skilled younger instructor, have them participate. I remember I had this guy, Roger Crawl, who's one of my instructors in uh, my school in uh, Florida. He would participate in the uh, sizzle time but he would participate at a level 10. He would do, do jump front kicks and kick the ceiling tiles out. Now you can imagine when you have students talking about that at school or to their friends, my instructor can kick the ceiling tiles in the karate school. It was just totally awesome. So they're in awe of the instructors. The students are having a lot of fun. All the students, junior instructors, are all participating. Um, they're motivating their students. It's just a time, it, it's sizzling before classes start. Uh, the next part of class is very, very simple. It's when the kids line up. Now, when I started discovering the importance of this, I was doing some a lot of studying with Tony Robbins, and he was talking about state management. And if, if you listen to any of his tapes or his CDs or whatever, him in person, he talks about state management, and it'll get you feeling depressed. To go, everyone sit like they're depressed, and people actually depress their body. Uh, the shoulders drop down, their head drops down, the eyes go forward, and they're acting depressed. He says, I want you to sit like you're totally dynamic and energetic. And all of a sudden, everyone sits up nice and straight, and they have that power move. That's all state management. You can control your mental attitude just by controlling the state, the physical state of your body. So knowing this and how important it is, when we have the kids line up, it's really important that they go right to their lines. They're not dilly-dallying because another thing that Tony Robbins talks about, emotion creates emotion. We want our class to uh, start out more than where the students are compliant. Compliant is when you say line up, they line up, you tell them to bow, they bow, you tell them to do a front kick, and they're just going through the motions. In other words, you're telling them they're doing it, they're being compliant. What you want to do is have it above that. It's much easier and fun teaching students that are energized than if they're dragging. So when you say line up, they should run to their dots, spots, whatever you have on the floor, and you say ready. Now this is kind of cool. When you say ready, have them stand with their hands above their head, their hands open like this. When you say stance, they're going to close their fists slowly, and they're going to drop out into a horse stance. So it's really, really strong. So it's state management, it's motion, it's emotion with the voice. From that position, now they're ready to do your student creed. So you say ready, their hands come up, it's open. We do this in one of our, um, or actually three of the forms in the elements curriculum, this is how they bow. They're reaching their hands up above their head, showing their ultimate potential. Their hands are open because they're an open book, filling their, this book with knowledge. When you say stance, they slowly close their fingers, because that looks totally cool, and they drop down, They're not really in a real low horse stance, more of a power stance. Their hands come down and just go to the side, and they make a good loud noise. It could be, ah, sa, da, whatever you want to say, whatever you do in your school, or they can make it up, but it's a power move. Now they're building up their motions. Now you do your student creed. So if you're using the most common student creed, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that reduces my mental growth or physical health. You would say it like that. It's just not, I will develop myself or I should try to uh, develop myself. It's I will. I mean, it's positive. It's confident. And if they don't say it like that, you have them do it over again because this is getting ready for class. 
and the student creed should mean a lot. I mean, it should have meaning with the kids that will develop myself in a positive manner. I mean, that's the whole idea about martial arts. Any word that you're working for the black belt excellent has to have that confidence. It has to have that positive manner. So make them say it like you want them to feel. Now, you can do, if you're not doing that creed, it doesn't matter what creed you're doing. It's not really what they're saying. It's how they're saying and how they're using their facial expressions and confidence why they say it, while they say it. So, haven't even done throwing a kick or punch. I've got my students at a high level of energy enthusiasm. They're ready to learn. They're more than compliant. Uh, they're energetic and they're going to follow instructions and they're going to put everything they have into it. Just with the five to six minutes leading up to class. So we have that sizzle time. This is where they're punching, they're kicking, they're jumping. They're just enjoying training with some martial arts. The music is driving them with energy. The instructors are out there building relationship, getting them excited. I mean, if I go into a school, I should hear those instructors yelling, high-fiving the kids, all kinds of stuff. If you're doing air high-fives, whatever you have to do, you know what I mean. And then it's motion creates emotion. They're running to lines. Then it's state management. How do I handle their mental state while well, I have to control their physical state? If I just say stand there, they're going to just kind of stand there. You have to have them stand there in a power position. This is going to get them mentally excited, raring to go. Hands go up, showing their potential way above their head. Hands are open. They're an open book, ready to learn. You say stance, everything comes together. They claim their power, drop their hands to the side. Ayah! And then you do the student creed. Now, I hope I was animated enough to do that. You guys are probably all la laugh and say, Silva's are like way out of it today. But these are good tips, and I really want to express the importance of the details. Hey, if you want to share some videos, share it on this page. Love to see it.